Ad Bhagavatam, first canto, tenth chapter, text number one, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on June 16th, 1973, in Mayapur, India. Translation, Shonaka Muni asked, after killing his enemies who desired to usurp his rightful inheritance, how did the greatest of all religious men, Maharaj Yudhisthir, assist, assisted by his brothers, rule his subjects? Surely he could not freely enjoy his kingdom with unrestricted consciousness. So, here the most important word is Yudhisthiro Dharma Vritanga Varishtha. Maharaj Yudhisthir was known as Dharmaraj, very strictly following religious principles. So he killed for his sake sixty-four crores of men were killed in the battlefield of Kurukshetra. So he was not happy, although the battle, the fight was a religious fight. It is not whimsical. Just like in the modern days, the politicians, they fight unnecessarily to fulfill their desire. Just like in our country, unnecessarily they divided Pakistan. And to fulfill the whims of the leaders, they are fighting. With nobody's gain, neither there is any religious principle. So fighting whimsically by the politicians, that is not sanctioned. That must be dharma yuddha. Dharma yuddha means religious part, fight on religious principles. So what was the religious principle? What is that matter? Here it is said, hatta atatai no. Atatai means aggressor. If somebody comes to your home, to kidnap your wife, to uh, take by force your property, or to set fire in your house, he is called atatai. He should immediately be killed. It is not that non-violence, nonsense. If somebody is coming to attack you, unnecessarily. You must kill him first. Yeah. It is not Vaishnavism, oh, this man is coming to kill me, all right, let me embrace him. No. That is not, they don't. When there is atutai, aggressor, you must fight, you must kill. That is religious. So, Yudhishthir Maharaj, Dharma Vritang Varishtha, he was so uh, strictly followers of religious principle that when even Krishna advised him that you go and say some lies to Dronacha, because Dronacha will not believe anyone. You say and go there that your son Asuthama is dead. And Yudhishthira Maharaj hesitated. Yeah, how can I say this lie? Of course, this is too much following religious principle. Uh, this is also another instruction. When Krishna says that you go and speak the lies, he should have done immediately. That is dharma. 
बिकॉज धर्मंत साक्षात भगवत प्रणीतम धर्म मीन्स विच इज गिवन बाय द सुप्रीम पर्सनैलिटी ऑफ गॉड दैट इज धर्म यू कैनॉट मैन्युफैक्चर धर्म जस्ट लाइक नाउ इट इज सो मेनी धर्मोज हैव बीन मैन्युफैक्चर दे आर नॉट धर्म धर्म मीन्स द ऑर्डर विच इज गिवन बाय द लॉ दैट इज धर्म जस्ट लाइक कृष्ण से सर्वधर्मान परित्यज मामेक शरण वी हैव मैन्युफैक्चर सो मेनी धर्म हिंदू धर्म मुस्लिम धर्म ख्रिश्चन धर्म पारसी धर्म बुद्ध धर्म दिस धर्म दैट धर्म दे आर नॉट धर्म दे आर मेंटल कॉन्कॉक्शन मेंटल कॉन्कॉक्शन Otherwise, there will be contradiction. Take for example, the Hindus think cow killing is our dharma, and the Muslims think the cow killing is their dharma. Then which is correct? Whether cow killing is our dharma or not our dharma. So these are mental conduct. Chaitanya Chaitamrita Thakur says. यही भलो यही मंद सब मनोधर्म मेन्टल कौन कौन रियल धर्म इज व्हाट इज ऑर्डर बाय द सुप्रीम पर्सनैलिटी ऑफ गॉड दैट इज धर्म दैट फॉर कृष्ण से सर्वधर्मान फरितज मामेक शरण गिव अप यूर ऑल मैन्युफैक्चर धर्म हियर इज रियल धर्म शरणंग बज जस्ट बिकम सरेंडर एंड टू मी दैट इज यर धर्म धनमंत साक्षात भगवत तो नहीं जस्ट लाइक लॉ लॉज कैन बी मैन्युफैक्चर और कैन बी गिवन बाय द गवर्नमेंट यू कैनॉट मेक एनी लॉ एट योर होम That is not law. Law means the order given by the government. The supreme government is the supreme personality of God. Aham sarvasya prabhava matta paratanam nanya. There is nobody greater than Krishna. Therefore. The order given by Krishna is dharma. Our this Krishna consciousness moment is that dharma. Uh, Krishna says, "Sarva dharman paritajya mam ekam saranam bhaya." We give up all other so-called dharmas. Uh, This dharma, that dharma, so many dharmas. Simply just surrender unto me. So you are preaching the same principle, and that is confirmed by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Amar agdai guru hai ya taro ei desh jare dakhu tare kaho Krishna upadesh. This is done. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu did not manufacture any new system of dharma. No. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is Krishna himself. Namo Mahabadanaaya Krishna Prema Pradayati Krishna ya Krishna Chaitanya Namini. So the only difference is he is Krishna himself. The only difference is that Krishna. As the supreme personality of Godhead, directly orders that you give up all nonsense, simply surrender unto me. This is Krishna because he is supreme personality of God is giving directly order. The same Krishna, because people misunderstood him. Uh, even big big scholars they say it is too much that Krishna is ordering like that. 
but they are rascals. They do not know. They cannot understand what is Krishna. Therefore, because people misunderstood him, Krishna came as a devotee to teach how to surrender to Krishna perfectly. Krishna came, just like uh, sometimes uh, my servant gives me massage. I say by giving his head massage, do like this. Uh, so I am not his servant, but I am teaching him. Similarly, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is Krishna himself. But he is teaching perfectly how to approach Krishna, how to serve Krishna. The same principle. Krishna said, you surrender unto me, and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says, you surrender to Krishna. So on principle there is no change. Uh, on principle there is no change. <coughs> so here Yudhishthira Maharaj dharma bhītāṅga bodhiṣṭhā of all the followers of religious principle, he is the uh, foremost bodhiṣṭhāṁ. <coughs> so he was very sorry that for my sake, for enthroning me, oh, so many people have given their life not only his cousin brothers, the soldiers, eh, because at that time, five thousand years ago, uh, these kings or the emperors of Hastinapur were ruling all over the world. This planet was called Bharatvarsha, the whole planet, not this now a small tract of land. <coughs> The whole world was called Bharatvas. Formerly it was called Ilavati Vars. <coughs> Since the reign of Maharaj Bharat, this planet is called Bharatvas. So the Pandavas or the Kurus, they were the rulers of the world. As such, when there was fight between the two sections of cousin brothers from all parts of the world, somebody joined this side, somebody joined that. So I think in the Mahabharata it is stated that sixty-four crores of men were killed and many disappeared. Nobody knows about their whereabouts. <coughs> So actually, Yudhisthira Maharaj, Dharma Vidang Varishtha, he was so great, stalwart, foremost, followers of religious principle, he was very, very sorry. Yeah, for my sake, so many people uh, let down their life, so he was not happy. Therefore, in our Shastra, when you commit some necessary sinful activities, uh, to counteract it, a fasting, fasting is recommended. Therefore, Yudhisthira Maharaj was observing fasting, uh, taking little necessities. Uh, therefore, Saurukmani is inquiring that Sahanujai pratta bhojana kathaṁ pravitta kimokāraj vittapaha. Then he was undergoing some prāyaṣṭhita system. Then how did he take the reins of ruling over the kingdom? Uh, that was his inquiry. saṅguna Actually, the śrīmad-bhāgavatam was first of all, in the beginning, the first beginning of Srimad Bhagavatam was uh, in front of Maharaj Parikhit. Sukhdev Goswami explained, and 
times. Śrīta Goswami was in that meeting also. So he learned explanation of Bhagavatam from Sukadeva Goswami. This is called parampara system. Now, uh, generally the professional reciters of Bhagavatam, they do not follow the parampara system. They make business. Just like we are reading Srimad Bhagavatam, we are discussing about the warfares, uh, the, the professionals, they will go immediately to Rāsrita, as if these things are not necessary. Uh, anyone who hears Bhagavatam from these professionals, they do not know what are the other subject matter in Śrīmad Bhagavatam, because they, they haven't got the chance to hear. They do not discuss. Whenever there is recitation of Bhagavatam, it means they are discussing some Rāsa-līlā. Because the Rāsa-līlā is very palatable to the rascals. They think that Krishna is ordinary, a young boy, and the gopis are young girls. And as they read novel and dramas, one man or woman, their activities, they think Bhagavad is like that. They think Archi Siladhi Guru Su Naramati. So they think like that. The gopis, the Srimad Bhagavatam, the pastimes of Krishna is the gopis. It is the most confidential part of Srimad Bhagavatam. It is to be released by the liberated soul, not this ordinary person who have got sex attraction, they are, uh, they are unfit for hearing Śrīmad Bhāgavatam, Rāsa-līlā. Unfit. So, uh, unfortunately, uh, these professional reciters, they do not begin Śrīmad Bhāgavatam from the very beginning, where Vedānta Sutra is discussed. Athāta brahma jīgyāsā, janmā adhasya jatā. So Bhāgavad begins with this word of Vedānta Sutra, janmā adhasya jatā, annayāti tatatascha arthesu avikyā sarā. So it is the, in the beginning, Srimad Bhāgavatam is the explanation of the Vedānta Sutra. Śrīla Jīva Goswāmī has recommended, therefore, one should learn Bhāgavatam from a person who knows Vedānta Sutra. Śrūta grihītaya, bhaktā śrūta grihītaya, bhakti should be generated, śrūta grihītaya by studying Vedānta Sutra. Now, bhakti is not sentiment. Bhakti is the uh, transcendental science. Uh, therefore, in the Bhagavad-gītā it is said, jñāni uh, viṣiṣyate. It should be in full knowledge. What is Krishna? Not that accepting Krishna as something fictitious, even Big, big scholars, Dr. Radha, Krishna, Gandhi, they cannot understand Krishna. Huh? How they can understand? It is not understandable by the fools and the scales. Manushyanam sahasreshu kaschit jatati siddhai jatatam api siddhyanam kaschit vetimam tapra. So understand Krishna is not so easy thing. Manusānāṁ sahasreṣu, out of many millions of persons, all rascals and fools, animals, what they will understand Krishna? 
Therefore, Krishna personally says, Manasanam Sahasreshu, Kasid Jadati Siddhai. Siddhi. Siddhi means perfection. Uh, all over the world we are touring, uh, all full of rascals and fools. Nobody is trying to uh, make his life perfect. What is that perfection? Uh, Paramang Siddhim. That perfection is Mamupita Kontiya. Dukkhalayama Sasatam Napnubanti Mahatmana Sang Siddhim Paramangata. To go back to home, back to Godhead. That is the highest perfection of life. Nobody knows what is Godhead. Nobody knows how to go back to Him. So, uh, to understand Krishna and to become a devotee of Krishna, it is not very easy thing. Uh, very, very difficult. <coughs> but Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Mahamadana Avatar, he has distributed this Krishna science and love of Krishna in such a easy way uh, that by His mercy uh, even a most uh, rude person can also understand if he takes the mercy of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So Yudhishthira Maharaj was a Krishna Bhakta uh, and therefore he is explaining his Dharma Vitam Varishtha, the most foremost personality, uh, because he knows he agreed to fight with his cousin brothers because Krishna wanted. Uh, Krishna, when Arjun said, My dear Krishna, uh, there is no need of fighting because the other side, they are my brothers, nephews. I better prefer to give them the kingdom. I shall beg and leave, but I don't want to fight with my brother. Uh, immediately Krishna condemned it. Kutasthi kasmalamidam visami samupasthi. What nonsense you are speaking. Uh, <coughs> you must fight. Uh, then still he was unwilling to fight. Therefore the whole Bhagavad Gita was spoken to him. And after Explaining Bhagavad Gita, he inquired from Arjuna whether you are now determined to fight. Jathe chasita thakur. This liberty was given to Arjuna. I have explained to everything. Now, whatever you like, you can do. So, Krishna does not force anyone to become Krishna Bhakta, but he gives the chance. He explains everything that if you become Krishna Bhakta, surrender soul, then you'll be happy. Otherwise, you will not be happy. Ah, this is Krishna. Ah, Kuru, he says, Sarva Dharman Pritacha Mamekam Saranam Braja. He does not force. Ah, now it is our <coughs> choice whether we shall surrender to Krishna or not. These are the instructions of Bhagavad Gita and Srimad Bhagavatam uh, that one's ultimate goal of life is to surrender to Krishna. That is the ultimate goal of life. But they do not know it. Nati vidu sārta gati ngi Vishnu. They do not. Uh, they think for some worldly happiness and go to some demigods. That is condemned in the Bhagavad Gita. Kama istasta hitagyana jajanti anna deva. They have lost their intelligence. Those who go to worship other demigods for some paltry benefit, temporary benefit. Antavattu phalam tesa tad bhavati alpa medasa. Those who are brain substance is not very much. Uh, in good quantity. Uh, 
brain suffer, instead of brain substance, there is cow dung. Uh, such people go to worship uh, the other demigods. There is no necessity. There is no necessity. Of course, we do not uh, show any disrespect to any demigods. We offer all respect, but we do not accept that Krishna and all other demigods are on the same level. As the Mahavadi says, that either you chant Hare Krishna mantra or chant Durga Durga, Kali Kali, it is the same. This is Raskara. This is Raskara. <coughs> Hare Rama, Shastra says, Hare Nama, Hare Nama, Hare Nama, Iva Kival. Shastra does not say, that you chant this name, that name, any dog's name, cat's name, and it is all. Shastra does. Shastra says, Hare Nama, Hare Nama, Hare Nama Ivati, Kalu Nasti, Nasti, Nasti. So, the Shastra Vidima Siddha, Bhattati Kamaka, no Siddhim Savapati. Anyone who avoids, uh, disregards the injunction of the shastras and acts whimsically, you will never get perfection. No sukhaguna parangati. Therefore, uh, our uh, principle is this Krishna consciousness movement means we strictly follow Krishna. Our uh, leader is Krishna. Nitta nityana, chetana chetana na. So everyone requires a leader. Uh, then I have talked many times, the leader must be followed. Uh, when I was talking with Professor Kotovsky in Moscow, I asked him, where is the difference between your philosophy and our philosophy? You are following Lenin, we are following Krishna. So we have to follow one leader. You cannot avoid it. So he was silent. He could not reply. So, <coughs> to uh, become perfect, to achieve perfection, one has to follow a leader. Uh, so why should we follow the misleaders, the rascal leaders? Let us follow the perfect leader, Krishna, and become perfect. Thank you very much. Thank you.